Hello friends, in this video we will see how to render and bind drop down list using editor templates and editor for model helper. Now we are going to use the HTML dot editor for model helper to render the controls for model property and we are going to use data annotation and editor template combination to render the bind render and bind the drop down list. Well, let's see the application. Now we have a simple ASP rendered MVC3 application where we have a simple view and inside the view we have reference among model and model class. Now this model has one property that is player list which is of type string and let's see how we can render the control from this property now as mentioned earlier we are going to use editor for model to render the control for the model's property now let's see after running the application what it renders now basically editor for model renders a text box for a string property now as you can see it has rendered a text box for the string property now suppose we want to render a drop down list for this property so what we need to do so for that first we need to have an editor template so we have created a simple editor template that is drop down list or css html and, uh, and under the folder editor templates we have to create this folder under the shared folder so now currently my editor template is blank and inside the model now we have to make editor for model understand for this property which editor template to call so for that we have to use ui hint data annotation attribute now to use that we need to reference data annotation namespace and now we can use the ui hint property now the ui hint accepts the name of the editor template so the name of my editor template is drop down list so now the editor, editor for model gets from this drop down list that it has to call drop down list editor template to render the control for player list property so now if i run the application again i am expecting the control to be blank as we have not yes as we have not entered anything inside our so now I render hello world inside my h2 tag you can see the hello world is rendered so now we can render a drop down list in this editor template using this editor template so I use drop down list helper the name of my control will be the name of my property itself that is player list and I'm going to create a list from enum so now to we need to have reference we need to reference the enum so my enum is placed at models namespace and now I'm going to get all the values from the enum and cast it to selected list item so my enum type is players and I'm going to select all the values from the enum and convert it to selected list item where I'm going to set its text text with the current item and value with current item so now I have created the HTML for drop down now you can see the drop down is rendered so this is how you can render a drop down using data annotation editor templates and editor for model helper thank you friends